Hi, Teresa. How are you doing? I, I am so sorry about this. I, I We had exchanged emails and talking about this, your, your oral um, uh, surgery that you had to have for the, the tooth. And it's just the irony to me is overwhelming. What's really, really kind of freaky is this, Teresa. I'm going to tell you the truth. Several semesters ago, this... <laughs> The same thing happened to a student. I don't recall what it was. It wasn't the tooth. It wasn't a tooth pain, but it was something of like, I think it was something to do with a hangnail and that the student's sketches had to do with removing a hangnail. And the student had wrote me and actually said that after they completed the sketches, they, they developed a really bad, serious hangnail that ended up getting infected. So <laughs> does, does this assignment have a, have a jinx to it? I don't know. Or is it just coincidence? At any rate, I'm so sorry for your experience with this. Um, let's go ahead and jump right over to your sketches. All right, this is really a nice little story. It is. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I think that's good. I, it's just a, a really wonderful little narrative. It makes perfect sense. And there's some things here you did that were that are very, very, very smart. Let's go through it. Tooth pain. Yes, indeed. This tooth is the, is the crying pain guy, right? But I, do we need, I mean, I guess this is pretty good because it's introducing the tooth as a character, a player in the narrative, so to speak. And they're reintroduced later over here. So so I guess that is a pretty nice, nice, neat little connection there. So we go from, from tooth pain to the identifying that it is indeed a tooth pain. So she's in pain. We are identifying that it is indeed a tooth pain. Okay, right here, she's got the light bulb with an idea, and the idea is to call the dentist, right? And this is this is just great communication right here. Telephone, calendar. Make sure that calendar is a little bit more clear, though, in that little area right there, because it took me a second to figure out what that was. So, so she's calling the dentist. This is great. Circle the date that it is and a star around the date that her appointment is. That's fantastic. What I can't figure out is is why let me just zoom in here a little bit okay so okay if this is depicting the day that she called and this is depicting the day of the appointment these wouldn't be have x's in them yet okay they would be so that that's in, this is indicating that this, we're on the first right and her appointment's on the 26th so these wouldn't be x'd off yet unless it was already the 26th right does that make sense Okay, so let me jump it back in there a little bit. So, so try to to I, I would just remove the X's from the, the dates. Okay, so then we go from defining the problem and then adding a solution, a, 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 a traditional solution. But there's too much time, right? So now, what does she do? It's a perplexing moment. This is the part where I would use the, the light bulb. The light bulb. She's got an idea, right? She's not gonna wait that long. But the thing is, is we're overusing the light bulbs. Does she need to have an idea to call the dentist? That's not a, a, a like an aha moment. You know what I mean? Um, that's just, I, I, we could go from the, the pain. Um, we could actually just remove the, the thought bubble of the light bulb right there and just have her just like this perplexed look and then making the appointment, right? Then over here going, you know, just like that, really, again, this really frustrated look. Then the, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. And then, then we go to the, 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 the rest, the epilogue, so to speak, the solution. And that's where I love this. I love this showing the, the dead tooth with the, with the, <laughs> with the wind and the halo. And it's just so creative. I love it. I love that idea. And then, of course, the final frame. She's very, very happy, right? Uh, this is a nice shot, too, right there with the string. And it, it's actually a really good idea. Um, <clears throat> so the, the, my only other recommendation is this, is that you're, you're, you've created this kind of linear timeline, right? But And, and you've, you've actually removed them from the, the rigidity of a grid kind of storyboard approach. And you place them in these circles, which adds a lot more of an organic feel to the the narrative itself. But one thing I would recommend is, is what are we going to use to connect the individual frames? Okay. The, the arrows is it's just too obvious. It's too obvious and it's boring, right? So what can we use? And now you remember the uh, example of the, the guy that was shaving the machete with the big red beard and they, those, um, frames were connected with hairs, red hairs from his beard. I thought that was really clever. What if we connected yours with little teeth? 
I think that would be so cool. So you have a few little teeth here and just have little teeth making the trail, right? A couple of few little teeth here, three teeth here, four teeth there, a couple of teeth here. And so the, the narrative is being connected by the actual teeth themselves, right? So, um, all right. So those are my recommendations. Just to kind of improve the, the, the communication a little bit, kind of clear some things up and expedite the process, so to speak. So um, really fantastic job. I'm super looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, go digital. So great job. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks.